Hey guys, it's Kira and welcome to another 24 hour readathon vlog. I'm literally so excited about this one because today I'm taking on the challenge of trying to read the entire Hunger Games series in one day. The Hunger Games series is a series that for some reason I have never gotten around to reading and I honestly don't know what is up with me but as a child I seem to have this habit of being a huge reader, I literally always had a book in my hand but I never read some of the most popular series out there which is just kind of crazy. Harry Potter is one where I always loved the films, I've literally been a lifelong fan of those films but I only ended up reading the books about two years ago which is just ridiculous. I've also never read the Twilight series and then The Hunger Games is another series that for some reason I just never got around to reading and I really don't know why except for the fact that when I was younger I definitely leaned more towards contemporaries and didn't really delve too much into fantasies but regardless of the past we are now in the present day and I really really want to read this series particularly because today is Sunday the 19th of April and we are about a month out from the release date of the prequel to the Hunger Games series which is called A Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes and I really want to be able to read that when it actually comes out and be able to sort of enjoy the hype along with everyone else and so I thought now was the perfect time to finally tick this book series off my TBR and because we all know I love a 24 hour readathon I thought why not not only take it off my TBR but also try and read all three books in one day so that is exactly what I'm going to be trying to do for the next 24 hours. Now I am a big lover of dystopians and that's exactly what this series is so I have very high expectations and I'm also almost certain that I'm going to love this series because I just have so many people telling me that it's amazing and that they love it even when they've come to reread it so many years after they originally loved the series and it just seems like exactly like the type of thing I would enjoy so I'm really really excited to get into it and also to try and challenge myself to finish them in 24 hours because although it is a full series the total pages amount to about just over a thousand and I don't think that's too far out of the realms of possibility that I could finish that in one day so that's exactly what I'm going to try and do because I just think not only is it fun to delve into a new universe but also to just like properly binge read the books and really like dive headfirst into this world by reading all three books directly after one another in one day so with that being said it's currently about quarter to seven in the evening and I'm going to be starting this 24 hour readathon at seven o'clock so I've got about 15 minutes to get myself a cup of tea and get settled down and and start reading. about 8 p.m. now so I've been reading for about an hour and I've already made it through 75 pages of The Hunger Games so I think the odds are definitely in my favour for getting these books finished in 24 hours because I'm just finding it so easy to fly through this book because it's just so interesting like there's nothing more to it other than the fact that this is just such an easy book to read because it is such an interesting story. Obviously I can't remember if I actually mentioned I have actually seen all of the Hunger Games movies except for Mockingjay Part 2 so I am familiar with the story but I don't remember many of the major details and really the only one that sticks in my mind is the first film which it's been so many years since I've seen it that again I don't really remember all of the like nitty gritty details but I am obviously familiar with the basic story so that is probably making it a little bit easier to read this one just because I kind of know what I'm getting into but I am really excited to read it properly because I really can't remember anything major other than the basic framework of the plot so I'm looking forward to actually like finding out all of the details and already I'm finding it so interesting to learn about is it Panem the world that I think it's Panem the like North America post-apocalyptic type universe that this book is set in so that's really interesting to find out about and also just the whole thing is really cool. Now I'm actually taking an impromptu reading break for the next hour because 
It's Sunday evening and Jay's favourite show at the moment is Race Around the World, which is like a BBC Two game show about people racing around the world. Duh. So I'm going to go and watch that for an hour and get back to reading after that. So I'll see you at about nine o'clock. Clear the way to my heart. Okay, so TV break time is over. It is now just after nine o'clock, so two hours into this readathon. I've already got my third cup of tea of the evening and I'm ready to start reading again. So like I said before, I'm about 75 pages into The Hunger Games. Katniss has just arrived at the capital and that's pretty much where the story is obviously gonna really take off. So the plan for the rest of the evening is obviously just to keep on reading and I'll keep you updated with all of my thoughts. So it's just about quarter past seven in the morning and I just finished up reading The Hunger Games. So that is one down, three to go. And this book was so good. Definitely five stars, I think, just because I enjoyed reading it so much and it just felt like such a breeze to get through. Aside from the parts last night where I was falling asleep just because I was so tired, the book itself was just so interesting. And I feel like it was quite an interesting reading experience for me because having watched the film, I feel like I've seen the first Hunger Games film a couple of times and it's been quite a while so it is like a bit of a foggy memory but there were certain elements of the book that felt very familiar but then there were other bits that definitely managed to surprise me because I didn't have a very clear memory of everything just kind of like a rough framework of some of the things and then certain bits stuck out more in my memory but aside from that it was kind of interesting because I felt like I was sort of putting the puzzle together gradually because I had some pieces but not all of them but either way I thought it was a, such an incredible read. I think what I liked most about this one was that it was like both extremely brutal and very blunt in its writing style. I think to kind of convey the struggle of Katniss in particular and her background in poverty and everything but also just the brutality of the games themselves but then it also wasn't necessarily particularly graphic and it managed to sort of combine that like brutality with a very like pulled back writing style that didn't necessarily offer too much which I think really helped to convey like the scarcity and just like the bleakness of the situation and yet you still got a really vivid picture so I just really loved that about the writing style and I just thought it was such an interesting read. I loved this like dystopian world and just like the complexities of everything that was going on and also last night just before we went to bed Jay asked me who my favourite character was and I had to say that again that was kind of interesting about this book was that because it's a book about a competition I feel like the only character you really get to know is Katniss because you as a reader don't feel like you can trust anyone else because you know that Katniss doesn't and therefore you're not really getting a fair perception of these other characters because you're only seeing them through one competitor's eyes. There's a really interesting book in that sense as well where you do just get such a skewed view of this world because that's the way that the competition means that things have to be. So absolutely loved it, super glad that I finished the first book. I've now got just about 12 hours left of the readathon, so I'm gonna get started on Catching Fire, which I am equally excited to get into. All 
All right, so it's now just after 10 a.m. and I've pretty much just been reading since breakfast time and I'm now just over 200 pages into Catching Fire, which is about halfway through this book because I think it's got just over 400 pages and I am loving this one even more than I liked The Hunger Games and I think that is for a few main reasons. Firstly, like I already said, I have seen the first three films in this series, but the only one that I have a clear memory of is the first film, The Hunger Games, and so I really don't remember anything much that happens after that film ends, and the only proper memory I have of the Catching Fire film is one of the very first scenes where we have um, Katniss, Peter and Haymitch on a train, and I don't even really remember what was going on around that, I just have this memory of the train scene. And so when I was going into this book, I really had a much less clear idea about what story I was going to be getting into, which I quite like, even though I obviously did enjoy that first book and I obviously remembered it from the film, it just felt a little bit more familiar and so I guess I wasn't as surprised by what I was reading. And even though there were a lot of details that I definitely hadn't remembered that it was fun to read about, I feel like with this one it feels like an entirely new experience just because I have no real memory about what is happening and so it all feels very fresh and super super interesting. And then the other reason I feel like I'm preferring this one to The Hunger Games is just that there is a definite shift of tone as we move into the second book and I feel like the series is gradually going to be getting darker and darker as we progress through and I personally really enjoy that. I feel like in The Hunger Games the main focus was obviously on the games themselves and it was a very like events and action focused book which really just had the key focus of Katniss's survival. Whereas I feel like although survival is still a key element of Catching Fire there is a much more like political tone to this book which I'm really enjoying and I just feel like there is a sort of subtle undertone of unrest and just a lot more darkness mystery and just like I guess potential for revolt in this book which I just think is so interesting and compelling and I just feel like we're also getting now introduced to a lot more characters and getting to know them in a lot more detail because like I mentioned earlier I feel like in The Hunger Games because you are so focused on the competition you really do only get to know Katniss as a character whereas in this one because the competition plays a much less sort of focal role in the story. We're getting to see all of these other characters, we're getting to know some more of the political figures, we've been introduced to President Snow a little bit more, and I just feel like the whole world is getting more and more fleshed out. We're also getting a bit more of an insight into the other districts, and I just think it's building up this whole world that's just kind of like, it feels like a ticking time bomb as you are reading it, and the pages feel so tense and just filled with anticipation that I'm just absolutely obsessed. So, with that being said, it's about 10 a.m., so I think I think it's probably time to get out of my pajamas and put some real clothes on and then get myself a coffee maybe and then get back to reading. I'm going to the effort of trying to read all of the Hunger Games books in one day I thought I might as well just push the boat out and go all the way and try and do myself a Katniss hair braid just because I've always been intrigued by them because it looks so cool but I am not very good at hair whatsoever I can pretty much do French plaits but that's about it I've never tried Dutch braids before because they've always just confused me but I think I've done an alright job to say that I've never really done one like this before we'll say that I'm going for more like Katniss post Hunger Games because I definitely am not as neat as the uh, hair that Jennifer Lawrence has in the films but we'll just pretend that I was going for that more rugged look and I'm going for like post Hunger Games but overall I'm actually quite happy with this so yeah. <laughs> Just about quarter past 
past one in the afternoon and I just finished up reading Catching Fire which was incredible. Honestly cannot believe how much more I enjoyed this one than The Hunger Games just because I thought The Hunger Games was so good but this one just took it up to a whole nother level and I honestly can't wait now to read Mockingjay because I just feel like that one's probably going to be even better. But I feel like what I liked about this one versus The Hunger Games was just that in The Hunger Games it felt like a much more simple and linear narrative because at the beginning you're obviously in the district and then you're in the games and it's kind of just a very simple narrative whereas I feel like in this one we have kind of like the book split into two where you kind of have like the world of the capital and the games and then also the world of the districts and those are very distinct and I think it becomes very interesting when we start getting to know all of the different characters when you have to kind of see that each of the characters has to mold themselves into two very different people depending on whether they are in the districts or whether they're in the capital or even whether they're in the games and you have to see these characters sort of shifting personalities and reprioritizing all of the time depending on what it is that they're doing and what their motivation is. And so I feel like the characters and the storyline become instantly more complex because you see them having to really like be more calculated I guess in how they behave which I think is really interesting and obviously that is certainly present in the first one but I think because you only spend a couple of chapters in District 12 and then you get straight into the games you don't really see the distinction as much whereas in this one you know a lot more of the characters in a lot more depth and you also see so many different environments that this just becomes even clearer which I think just makes it even more interesting so overall I'm really really enjoying this readathon I think it's such an interesting like book series and I absolutely loving it I just think like the characters are becoming more and more complex the story is getting darker and I honestly now have no idea what I'm going to be reading in Mockingjay because I have a literally no recollection of the first Mockingjay film and I definitely didn't watch any of the second one so I'm really excited to get into that one but for now I'm going to go grab some lunch I've got just over six and a half hours no five and a half hours left of this readathon so I'm going to make lunch and then get straight into reading the final book this always happens in 24 hour readathons but the afternoon seems to be going so much quicker than the morning does and it's already just past 3 p.m so I've got about four hours left and I've just made it to about 115 pages through Mockingjay so far and I'm definitely enjoying this one or at least what I've read so far of it but I have to say I still think Catching Fire is the one that has gripped me the most and I think mostly that comes down to the fact that when I said earlier The Hunger Games is very much action focused and I also feel like Mockingjay has started out with that very action all the way through right from the beginning and it just kind of like hits you straight away with action whereas Catching Fire was a little bit slower to get started but I feel like it really let you get to know the details of Panem and of the political system and just really let you sort of delve deep into the political system and the mystery and the darkness that this series kind of is built on and I personally just absolutely love that and in general when it comes to fantasies I do find I enjoy more about the like actually finding out about the intricacies of the political systems and everything that the world is built on as opposed to just the action and whilst this is certainly not just action there is a lot more complexities within this book I still think that Catching Fire was just a little bit more up my street in terms of having that balance between complexities and delving into the intricacies of characters as well as action whereas I feel like the other two books have definitely been a little bit more action focused but even so I'm still really enjoying it. It is a really beautiful day so I actually think I'm going to go and sit outside for a little while. It looks kind of windy but it's so sunny as well so I'm going to go outside and hopefully it won't be too chilly but if it is I'll just come back in. <laughs> Wow. 
Well, it was nice to come outside and try and get some fresh air, but I think I'm gonna have to retreat and go back inside to do the rest of my reading because honestly, I cannot cope with the wind. When it's like still and nice and I'm enjoying the sun, I can love the reading outside, but as soon as the wind picks up, I just cannot take it because I just get so cold so easily. I'm already quite a cold person, like, it can be really really warm outside and everyone else can be sweating and I'll still need to put a jumper on because I'm just that kind of person. So as soon as the wind picks up I just can't handle it and clearly I am not Hunger Games material because I am not made to deal with this kind of wind and that is ridiculous but we can't all be Katniss Everdeen so instead of trying to force myself to stay outside and read in the garden I'm just gonna go back inside, retreat into the house, make a cup of tea and read in the comfort of a nice warm house but you know I tried. <laughs> Now that's more like it. I've got my cup of tea. I've also got a little bit of chocolate because it was Easter last week or the week before and I've still got Easter chocolate left, so I've got some of that. I've obviously got Mockingjay and most importantly, there is no wind in here, so I'm gonna settle down in the nice warm house and do some more reading. So it is now 20 to 7 and I have just finished up reading Mockingjay which of course brings my Hunger Games 24 hour readathon to an end with 20 minutes to spare and in the past 24 hours I have read 1,316 pages of the Hunger Games and I have literally loved every single page. I think this has been probably my favourite 24 hour readathon I've done because I've loved the series and it was also really cool to be able to actually start and finish a whole series in one day so I've literally had the best time. I also think I slightly misjudged Mockingjay because from the beginning I thought it was just going to be a very action focused book but actually this one had everything in it. There was definitely a lot of action but there was also like a lot of politics, a lot of like I guess confusion. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of confusion in this book because people have like sort of confused loyalties and constantly changing priorities. There's also a lot of romance, revenge, death, a lot of sadness and I just think this book combines so many things and it's kind of crazy because all of the books are like really similar in terms of page length but I feel like the first book felt like it absolutely flew by and it felt quite simple in terms of its plot whereas the second and third books definitely felt like there was a lot more complexity weaved in and they just felt like a lot bigger in terms of like how much they dealt with but they definitely didn't feel like a chore to read and to be honest I've actually just had such a fun time that I haven't felt like I've just been reading all day because I've just been having such a brilliant time I haven't felt like I've had to like try and cram it in because it's just been so easy to get through. Although I did enjoy this book more than I expected and it wasn't as action focused as I thought I still do have to say that I think Catching Fire was my favourite of the three books just because I think for me this had the perfect blend of action and like complexities of characters and politics and just like really combined all of those things in like the perfect balance for me but to be honest I have to say all three books were definitely five star reads. I enjoyed them all so, so much. And because I read them literally one after the other in 24 hours, it literally didn't really feel like three different books. It just felt like one continuing story. And it was really cool, particularly because these books focus so closely on Katniss as the protagonist to see her development right throughout the story because she really does develop from this character at the beginning who is quite cold and sort of emotionless to this much more complex character who really has to wrestle with her emotions and start to sort of become more vulnerable and open herself up to accepting help and love from many different people throughout the story. So overall, this was incredible. I had such a fun time and I'm now even more excited for the prequel to come out next month. Particularly because 
President Snow was a really interesting character in this because he is so unlikable and absolutely the most despicable character in this series. So I'm very interested to see how Suzanne Collins is going to deal with him as a character and sort of give him a backstory and whether or not that will change the perception of him as a character or just make him sort of solidified as even more of a despicable villain. But either way, I cannot wait to read it and I hope you've enjoyed hearing all of my thoughts on The Hunger Games and everything I've had to say about them as much as I enjoyed reading them because honestly, this was the most fun I've had in a 24 hour readathon ever. It was just such an incredible series and I'm so glad I've read it. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.